Hey there, my name is Max Max. Welcome back to our first gameplay of Bout and Blade Warband. So, firstly, I'm going to say that there's not going to be much editing in this video because I'm not sure what to edit. I've, I've played this game a lot, but I haven't played it for a long time, so I don't really know what to expect and what to edit. So here we are. There is a code in the description below for the for this game, so you can get it for free. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start. Alright, so here first you'll find this uh, story story screen. The game isn't like this. It's just like set up. Alrighty, so here are my stats. I don't expect you to follow as well, but those are, those are, those are what I chose based on my experiences. I know... Hold on. Let me add three X's. I think I have other accounts named Max. So I know some choices are affected by your stats and the gameplay as well. To make it easier on myself, I chose like the best stats possible, supposedly, but there aren't very many stat points. So like, you know, you can't become a god at the start of the game. So I'm only gonna change the hair, or I can just randomize to be honest. All right, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. All right, let's go. So with this series, I'm probably gonna make more videos on the gameplay. See, as you can see, this is actually what the game looks like. It does. It's not just a bunch of reading. You only read that much in like dialogue, and you'll get used to it as time goes on. There we go. Got a shot on him. Do I have? I have something to defend myself. Wait, you can't block. I can't block. <laughs> I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Why does he have to attack me? God, I'm gonna die. Oh, I got him. Heck yeah. Oh shoot, can I? No, that's not how you. Leave. So you don't. You don't. You can pick up weapons and shields that you find on the floor. Like it gives you the option to pick up stuff like that. But you don't. They don't stay in your inventory. The way you loot is at the end of the battle. It allows you to like drag items from your inventory, from their inventory to yours. So yeah, here is a merchant that's like supposedly gonna bring to his house and like save you from the outside world. Um, he's offering you, he offers you a quest at first, you say I'm interested. Mods have like different merchants or different NPCs for this, and sometimes they allow you to skip the whole thing. So after that you press tab to escape. Alright, so that that was all the boring stuff. Let's get back let's go to the fun part. So what quest do we have? Collect five men for what? Once you collect five men from the nearby villages, alright, that's that's it. He just wants me to go collect an army, I guess. So let's go to the tavern. Oh boy, oh boy, Ferentis. Oh, he's an NPC. NPCs in this game in the tavern, they give you I guess different dialogue options. Whereas some other NPCs give basic options. Why should we be friend? Don't really want to listen to him. Happy to be of service. Alright, he threw my party. For free, alright. Most of the time NPCs will offer you or charge you. And here are mercenaries that you can hire. Alright, so how much is he? Damn, only three of you? Him and two others? For a thousand? Bro, sorry. Not gonna happen today. Man, look at my armor. How is it this good? I grew off the streets. So here's the quest guy. Um, we need to go find some other people to recruit. So this is how you travel on the map. You just click to move around. Um, you can go to villages and recruit volunteers. There we go. I think we have five people now. And uh, bandits you'll find are quite that you can find them quite often, and they're really annoying. Like right now, I'm about to get mugged. Yep. Damn. All right, we are free brothers. We will fight for only ourselves from now on. Now give us your gold to taste our steel. There's no need to fight. I can pay. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna actually pay because I don't want to get killed <laughs> at the start of the game. And yes, that is possible. You will get killed. This game is merciless. If you merciless, yeah, I think. If you mess up, then you mess up. That's it.
Alright, so where's the merchant? There he is. Honestly. Look, you need more men. Why has it gotta be men? Mm. Alright, so apparently you yourself doesn't count. So I have to go find one other guy. One other guy. Yes, you can zoom out in this game. You don't press M to go to the map, you just like zoom out and it shows you the entire map, which is actually really cool. Like when I first saw this I was really amazed at it. I was like, wow, that's amazing. Let's go here, recruit some volunteers. Don't have enough money. What am I gonna do? Oh, I can sell the furs, but I'm broke. God. How did I get this broke? Oh yeah, I grew up off the streets, no wonder. Yeah. I'm actually surprised to find that we have furs in our backpack. That's, uh, that's a game changer, because they're worth a lot of money in this game. It's not something you can, like, loot off animals or something. It's something you trade with, so... I'm still surprised that someone who grew off the streets has furs somehow. 711. Alright, sick beans. Sweet beans. Your patrollers, I think? Nope, bandits. I'm screwed. God, man. How are they faster than me? There's 15 of them. 88. Alright, that's not bad. At least they won't be killing me and all my soldiers. Yes, they will. The game, this game is, again, this game is merciless, so if you mess up, you mess up. The game does not forgive you. I honestly hope I don't mess up too much. I've played this game native. i played some mods, not a lot. I think I know what I'm doing, but, you know, I, I can still mess up here and there, and if I do, I'm going to cry. Like, I'm not even kidding. The game does not forgive you. You lose all your items, you lose all your items. You lose your money, gone. People, gone. Alright, I still hunt for bandits. So we have to go find bandits and, uh, get the information out of them to find the person who's being held captive. I don't really know because I didn't read it much. So I'm not gonna read it anyways. In most cases, you don't really have to read. You just have to find specific parts in their text which tell you where to go, what to do, and how much they're gonna pay you. That's pretty much it. Alright, so we gotta find some bandits here. Looters. Alright. So, in the, in the first battle we had, I kind of found it, diff not difficult, but like, the NPC I was fighting dealt quite some damage. Like, that damage is a lot. It dealt half my health. Oh, he's naked. I can beat him. So, it, did, it dealt half my health, so obviously I'm weak. But anyway, I'm on a horse right now. I thought I was poor. Alright, so we have a bow. I'm not too good with bows. I'm not too trash, as you'll probably find out later on. You can command your soldiers in this game. But, uh, I feel like we have too little soldiers to really make a difference. Alright, let's stop the horse so we can aim steadily. steadily. Uh, fire. I missed. I got him in a foot. I hope that helps. I got my guy. <laughs> Damn, I shot for Rentis? No. Alright, so they're 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 fighting for me, I guess. I don't have to do anything. Let me go ahead and snipe that guy. The naked man right there. Streaker. Is that the leader? Are there leaders in the native? I don't think so. So yeah, you can pick up items off the floor, like I said before. You can't pick up armor, but you can pick up weapons, shields. I don't think bows. But that really does help because your shields can break in this game and you and you might have like a weak weapon, but your soldiers might, you know, get somebody and then knock them out. And you can pick up the weapon off the floor and then change the course of battle, I guess. But yeah, I'm still surprised that we have a lot of stuff, despite the fact that I said I wanted to be basically poor in this game. He's not dead yet, somehow. Now he is. Alright, we won. When you win your soldiers to you like that, 
Yeah. I love it, honestly. That that is like the one of the most fun things here. Party capacity rates. Oh. You have to put stats into prisoner management. And here is the inventory you get after you win a battle. So we got the um, we got the info out of the bandits. Goody goody goody. Let me go ahead and uh, change all this. Alrighty, all done. I hope we finish the quest partly. All right, some soldiers are ready to upgrade. So after battles, your soldiers will gain experience. You can also um, put stat into the trainer stat, which which will also give your soldiers experience. Let's go ahead and see what that does. You can upgrade them, and it will it will charge you the said price ten dollars or ten dinars. And that's the price up front, and then it'll charge you 10 dinars per week, I think. So it adds to the weekly cost, 27 now. So in this game, when you recruit NPCs, you can also edit their inventory, which is amazing. Let me see your equipment. Alright. Let me go ahead and change all this. Alrighty, all done. So to continue on, your troops actually eat the food here. 46 out of 50 shows the durability of the item. Which means that every day it's gonna take, for each soldier you have, it's gonna take like one piece out of that durability. So yeah, that will be a thing. Your character, the, your character, however, does not take out of it. So here's like the options you get when you're when an NPC is in your party. Skills you can you can upgrade their skills, which I'm not gonna really do because it's really it's not really I don't really care about the NPCs in this game. I could care less. You can tell them to separate, like, to go away, basically. You can ask him other stuff. Alright, there's no back button. Gotta pick something. Never mind. Alright, all done. Let's check the quest. Learn whether... Damn it. We're still not done yet. We have to go attack more bandits. Fantastic. Great. Alright, so, um, 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 soldiers, I guess, that you see walking on the map, if they're walking, that means they don't have a horse. If they're on a horse, that means someone in the party has a horse. These guys are following me, so they're probably, probably planning to kick me behind. I hope they don't. They're gonna catch me. I'm doomed. They're gonna catch Is there anywhere I can run? Can I recruit soldiers, please? No. Oh my god. Money, my money. Look at his armor. I have nothing like that. He has a shield too. I'm gonna lose if I fight. God, it's embarrassing to like have to pay bandits just to stay away from them. But there's nothing I can do. Uh, you can't recruit anymore. Once you recruit soldiers from a village, you have to wait a little while for it to like refresh, so you can uh, do it again. But I mean, my my. I have to go fight bandits. I'm not really sure who to fight or to. Oh, bandit robbers, sir. I guess the quest highlights the target, says blue, supposedly. Alright. I actually didn't know that. I just assumed. I've been looking for you. Tell me where you keep your prisoners or up, and I'll let you go. Alright. Too battle. My soldiers are, are using horses? What? I never paid for that. Kidding. So when you upgrade your troops, sometimes you get the option option to upgrade them into horsemen. Supposedly. Horse people. Alright, so let's see if we can pop some shots. I think I got a hit. I, I got two damage on this guy. And he's throwing rocks at me. Good game. He, he dealt 18 damage to me? That's more than my bow. I got him. Alright. I knocked him out. Shot him in the butt. Yep. That's two. Man, I'm good. Too good. Too good at the game. 
So your stats in archery will also affect where your shots go. Like the aiming reticle that you see, I think it's called. That is like the area where your shots will go. Red means you can't shoot there because it's out of your range. But uh, that shows where your shots are going. Based on your archery, it will affect uh, like how accurate your shot is. Like how towards the middle of your shot would be based on your archery. I guess because I'm a poacher, my character is good at archery, which is pretty cool. I spare me. Alright. Do I just spare him? Honestly, I don't even want this nonsense. This, uh, these trash items, but I need the money. I need the money. You can sell these at places I honestly forgot to sell them last time I went to a city. Villages, however, do not have a lot of money. They more so sell items than buy them. So yeah, don't expect to sell your items at villages. That's not really a thing, usually. Alright, let's go back to the merchant. Alright, very well, I'll go to attack the bandits in the lair and find your brother. Done deal. Alright, so I believe the NPC will give you like a pouch of money to go pay the bandits with. But I think in our case, um, he just wants us to go fight them, which he probably is not the best idea. Is this their hideout? Yeah, it is. Kidnapper's hideout. Alrighty. So yeah, I'll go ahead and save that for next time. So yeah, that is all for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I definitely do really enjoy this game. I really wanted to make a series of this game because I thought it would be fun. Again, there's a code to it in the description below if you really want this game for free. Download it from the website. Um, just copy and paste the serial code in. And boom, got the game for free. There is like a 60-hour cooldown on the code, though. I think, I think that's how the codes for that uh, dev developer works. I don't know. So yeah, code to get it for free in the description below. So yeah, that is all. Please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the icon, and with that for now, mask on.